Hi, and welcome to the WCPS Training Repository video on Twitter. This is the first in a series on Twitter. Today we hope to introduce you to Twitter and help you set up your first account. So what is Twitter? Simply put, Twitter is another form of social media. It allows you to get short messages of up to 140 characters out there to your followers. These messages are called tweets. You can also follow others who are tweeting information about topics you're interested in. For instance, my last tweet was just a few minutes ago, letting everyone know that I'm creating a few videos today for our new WCPS training repository. Frequently, I'm asked if an educator has a Facebook page, do they also need a Twitter account? Well, that's certainly a personal preference, but I find that I use Facebook to stay connected with people I went to high school with and family members. Twitter, I tend to get on to find professional things, things I'm really interested in. Um, lots of different educational companies will tweet, such as Education Week. There's one from Keith All's House, Edutopia, Kathy Schrock. So it's a great way for me to gather information that I might not have found otherwise. When I was first introduced to Twitter a few years back, someone told me that, you know, think of Facebook as a way to stay connected with those folks that you went to high school with. You know, stay connected with your family. But Twitter is a great way to stay in touch with those who you wished you had gone to high school with. I'm not sure that I buy into that, but it certainly is a different way to look at things. So let's get started and create your Twitter account. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up your browser. I find that Chrome and Firefox work the best with Twitter. And you're going to go to twitter.com. Once you're at twitter.com, simply click on sign up. Okay, so let's type in your information. and click sign up. Add your phone number. Or you can skip this step if you'd like. I'm going to be sent a verification code since I put my phone number in and it came through right away. So my verification code, just for me, it was 368203. Yours will be different. So I'm going to click on verify. And now I have to choose a username. Oh, that one's already taken. So let's try, I'm going to try WCPS Peer Kim. Hey, and that's a good one. They make some suggestions down here just in the event that you can't come up with one. So once you get into Twitter, it's going to give you a little walkthrough and tell you a little bit about it. So I'm going to click on Let's Go. Now so that you have some tweets that start showing up on your newsfeed page, go through and pick a few things that you're interested in. So I'm going to click that I like leaders. Um, news and let's go with entertainment. Click continue. Oh good lord, please do not send me anything on Kim Kardashian West. I'm not really interested in e-online. The Honest Company, I do like that one. Three Little Pigs Barbecue is perhaps some of the best barbecue you'll ever have. So go through and you can uncheck things if you don't think you'd like to have them. And you can always go back and uncheck them later. So I'm going to click on follow. So now I have a few people. Now I need a photo to upload. You can use a picture of you or you can choose a picture that is not related to you in any way, shape, or form. So I'm going to click upload a photo. I could take one right now, but really you do not want to see me. It's been one of those days where I haven't done a whole lot. So I'm going to go down to my photos. It's going to load some images here for me. 
I'm going to select this picture and click open. I need to reposition it just a bit. I'll click apply. Then you're going to click continue. Then it'll ask you if you wish to find people you know. You most certainly can do that through your Gmail, your Yahoo account, your Outlook, or your AOL account. I am going to skip this step for the time being. It's going to add 20 or so more to my Twitter um, account if I allow it to. So I'll go with that. And now my account is set up. Now please note at the top it does give you a warning that they are sending you a confirmation to the email account that you signed up with. So at this point you will need to go into your account and verify that you are indeed a real user. Basically what Twitter is doing is making sure that you're not spamming them. Sometimes this does happen to large companies. So I'm going to go into my online email through Office 365. And here it is, Twitter, confirm your account. So if I scroll down, you basically get the blue confirm now button. I will click on that. And Yahoo, all done. My account has been confirmed. Congratulations, you are now ready for our next session on starting using your Twitter account. Thanks for watching.